All right, still 96 degrees outside. We got the wheels on. I got the 29s on the front and 31s in the back. I gotta tell you, the 31s yell, yeah, I'm ready to party. And the front 29s are like, I like to party too, but I gotta go to work on Monday. <laughs> so they're, they're both, the 31s look good, but the 29s look still look better than these tiny things. And uh, yeah, it's uh, time to go and uh, find out how slow this truck is now. Hopefully not not too slow. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm just gonna test the 31s. I'm not gonna test the 29s. Uh, I think the the acceleration time is gonna be uh, the tw uh, of 29 is going to be right between uh, 31s and uh, those uh, 27s, so should be right in the middle. And uh, MPG is probably, I don't even know, but I have to see what the MPG for this one is in the city and then the highway. And then uh, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. Time to hit the road. Alright, the wheels are on, everything is reset. I'm in the same spot. Let's go for a ride. Alright, same thing, run one, third gear. Let's see what happens. They ran 6 1 twice before. We got a bunch of slow traffic. Gotta wait for them. Still pretty hot, 127 degrees intake temperature. Yeah, it doesn't feel, uh, it feels, it feels funny driving it right now. It's, uh, 
doesn't feel it's planted on the road. It wants to move left and right. And the power is really soft. Let's try it again. Five miles an hour. Ready, set, go. I had to abort. Had to abort. Alright, third run. Thirty-five miles an hour. Ready, set, go. Now let's go on the highway. The MPG is looking pretty good at 29.9. Let's see what GPS says. GPS says we're doing 62 miles an hour while speed is showing 55. Okay, 60. 60 miles an hour right now. Speedo is off by 5 miles an hour. So it reads a little bit over 10%. It's off. It's off slightly. Well, quite a bit. Yeah, the truck doesn't feel as safe going in the turns. Leads quite a bit more.
So the engine's running at 2,000 RPM at 60 miles an hour. Speedo was showing 56, 57 miles an hour. And uh, it was running 2,300. So let's see what the cruise control will do. We'll be able to hold the speed. Cruise control off. Now uh, the truck is struggling a little bit to keep up the pace at 60 miles an hour. But uh, miles per gallon looking pretty good. Alright, so it's been three days. I put some miles on this uh, tire package and uh, it drives a uh, it drives okay up to like 40 45 miles an hour but then uh, once I get on the highway it he can feel uh, truck just doesn't have enough power for the 31 inch tires which are all right over there so tomorrow I'll be changing them to those tires they should be here about 10 in the morning hopefully i'll put them on there the 29 inch tires and uh i think uh it's going to be a correct tire package for this truck and for me so anyways i made me a list of uh things from the test
All right, so results were very, very interesting. That was a significant boost in uh, miles per gallon, especially on a highway, and it's significant decrease in acceleration. So uh, it was mainly done to the because of the overall gear ratio, and um, it was uh, pretty interesting to see. I got lucky; the weather didn't change. And uh, I think the results were pretty accurate. And as you can see, I've decided to go somewhere in the middle. I've installed 29-inch tires all the way around uh, just to be somewhat in the middle. Uh, the miles per gallon are going to be lower than the bigger tires, but higher than the smaller tires. And the same thing with the acceleration. But let's see, why did the miles per gallon change so much? Well, it was basically due to the engine speed. Uh, for example, smaller tires were making the engine turn at 2300 RPM at 60 miles per hour, and the bigger tires only 2000 RPM. Uh, another difference was the engine was making less power at 2000 RPM, so the cruise control was applying more throttle so you would open the throttle blade more which decreased pumping losses so the engine at lower speed with higher load would be more efficient than the engine at higher speed at lower load for example the engine's least efficient at idle because the throttle blade is closed and then just it's basically a pretty big restriction and uh, the engine's most efficient at wide open throttle because there is no restriction in the air it's a lot easier for the air to get in the engine so uh, I haven't tested this combo yet but it's gonna be hopefully in the future I've got other things to test such as catalytic converters known on Facebook as a Cadillac converter uh, to see if, how much power do they really take. Is it worth gutting a catalytic converter or running a straight pipe? Uh, I'm also going to change, uh, going to test um, 2.5 liter exhaust manifold versus a 2.3 liter uh, header, factory header. And uh, electric fan, I got a bunch of things. I'm thinking about doing, but uh, if you have something that you want to see, uh, please comment in the comment section. And uh, hopefully, you enjoy this video. And uh, on that note, have a good day.